Blackburn Shilling Gambit Trap. This trap was named after Joseph Henry Blackburn, an English chess player who used to win one shilling per game from the cafe visitors who used to play chess with him. So let's check out this amazing trap that you can play with black pieces against Gioco Piano, the Italian game. White opens up with e4, e5, knight to f3, knight to c6 and bishop to c4, the Italian game or Gioco Piano. Now the common reply for Gioco Piano is bishop to c5. However, in this specific variation, black plays knight to d4, giving away the pawn on e5. If white accepts this gambit, knight captures e5, you can see that there is a double attack on this f7 pawn now. And if knight captures this f7 pawn, it will fork the queen and the rook. Black replies with queen to g5. And this capture still is good because the king cannot capture the knight. And from here, knight is forking the queen and the rook. So usually, white player goes for it. Knight captures f7. However, this is completely lost position because black can disregard this knight and play queen captures g2. There's an attack on this rook on h1. So the only move to save this rook is rook to f1. And now queen captures e4 check. This king has nowhere to go. If you block it with the queen, then the queen is lost. So the only good way to block this check is bishop to e2 and now a smothered mate. Knight to f3 check mate. Beautiful example of smothered mate in Blackburn Shilling Gambit Trap. Let's check another line of Blackburn Shilling Gambit Trap after queen captures g2. If white tries to capture the rook on h8, knight captures h8, black captures the rook on h1, Queen captures h1 check and the only way to save this check is bishop to f1 and after queen captures e4 again if you save this check with the queen the queen is lost so you have to save it with the bishop bishop to e2 and uh, there cannot be an immediate checkmate here because there is an escape square however after black brings out another piece bishop to c5 now this is mate in seven with best possible play. So I would encourage you to find this mate in seven in this line of Blackburn Shilling Gambit Trap. Blackburn was famous for playing blindfold simultaneous games against the cafe visitors. And we're going to review one such very attacking game in which Blackburn showed that it is very important to attack even if you sacrifice some of your pieces. However, you should never lose the tempo against your opponent. Let's check out this beautiful game. In this example, Blackburn is playing with white pieces and he's playing a blindfold simultaneous against an amateur player. And Blackburn plays queen to a4, putting a lot of pressure on this knight here. King moves to d8 and now stunning move, rook capture c6. And this is really not a sacrifice because you cannot capture this rook. If you try to capture this rook with the b pawn, then you get bishop capture c6. And the best possible move here is queen capture c6 and the queen is gone. Queen capture c6. And after, say, occupying uh, the only open file, rook to b8, you get rook to c1, now threatening a checkmate. And you will have to prevent it by <laughs> rook to c8. And now rook comes flying in, rook to c5. And now you can see that white pieces are perfectly aligned to checkmate this black king and this is actually a mate in five so after any move say for example a6 you get yet another sacrifice rook captures d5 check bishop captures d5 queen captures d5 check king moves to e8 and now e6 and after f captures e6 queen captures e6 check the only move is queen sorry king to d8 and now Queen to e7, checkmate. So in this position, this rook cannot be captured. So king moves to c8 and now the reinforcement comes. Rook e to c1. 
there's a lot of pressure on this C file now because uh, these two rooks are connected. So queen to b8. However, another stunning move by Blackburn, which is bishop to a6. And now this bishop is hanging, this rook is hanging. And we've already shown what happens when you capture this rook. Um, but in this specific position, it's a bit different. It's a bit, bit quicker checkmate. So for example, if you try to capture this rook, b capture c6, then there are multiple ways to checkmate. Very simple one is queen b4 checkmate. And this king has nowhere to go. And in this position, if you try to capture the um, the bishop, bishop uh, sorry, b captures a6, then you get queen captures a6, and there's no um, no answer to rook to b1, and it will be you can prolong it, but there will be a checkmate uh, very soon. Hence, in this position again, the both rook and the bishop cannot be captured. So his opponent tries queen to c8, adding more support to this pawn. And Blackburn plays queen to b5, adding another attacker. Bishop to d7, trying to pin this rook. However, now it is a mate in four. And Blackburn plays rook capture c1, sacrificing his queen. Bishop captures b5 and rook captures b7, check. Queen captures b7 and now the bishop comes flying in. Bishop to d6 check. You get queen to c7 blocking the check and now finally the checkmate. Bishop captures c7 checkmate. Stunning example of attacking chess play even if you have to sacrifice your pieces but never lose the tempo. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please share and subscribe and let's enjoy chess. Bye.